Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Heather McDougall. I have over 10 years of experience working in the world of finance with over five of those years spent in the bustling and changing environment of the municipal and county government. But what I've done in my career is not why I'm here to speak with you today. Today, I want to share with you why I was able to work my way into a successful career that began with a successful life and an early understanding of the critical skills of managing my own personal finance. When I was a youth, like many before me, I wanted the new shiny thing, the gaming console, music, clothes, but my family did not have the means to indulge my childhood desires often. It was always my mother saying, I have to stay on budget, or thank goodness we can afford the bills this month. See, she was self-employed and wrote out her expect expected income on a calendar, which sat on her desk. When clients canceled, I watched as her expression turned pensive, and she scratched out the numbers, lowering the overall income she would expect that month. Some families keep this kind of information private, but mine did not. Just before my 14th birthday, I knew enough about bills, income, and the checkbook, and savings that I wanted to go to work. Hindsight's 2020, right? No, I wanted to work to help bring an income to my family. With one of my first paychecks, I took my mother out to eat at this little restaurant we used to frequent on occasion. Later, I brought home bags of ripe um, from the farmer's market. Do you know how I felt? Good. I felt good. I felt accomplished. Today, you go to class to learn what we have always learned, reading, writing, math, science. Electives beyond traditional art and music have become more popular, and you cannot forget the appeal of sports and physical education. These are the backbone of children's education, the fundamentals to prepare them for university, for trade school, to enter the job force. I agree. Years of your learning must have had some of it right if we made it to a society where it is today. But I ask you, are they doing enough? Let me geek out on finance for a minute and tell you some compelling figures. First, would you anyone here like to take a guess at this question? Credit card debt. I know we all shudder at the words. Credit card debt in America has risen to a staggering level. How much credit card debt do you think the citizens of the United States owes as of February 2024? The answer is $1.13 trillion, says Petrus. That's right, folks, over a trillion dollars in debt. Do you know that bankruptcy in our country has increased from 2022 to 2023 by over 19% since last January? These numbers aren't just here to shock you, but to educate you. Some people know how to balance their bank account, how to budget for their expenses, and how to save money so they can take critical mental health breaks, vacations, save for those hefty first-time home down payments, and even then, they can fall into pit traps and work up a staggering debt. But at least they had a chance. At least they had a little bit of financial education to go into the world and make it work. The education system must do better. We have to demand that our high school students learn the importance of money management. We owe it to the next generation to fail, not to fail, when they reach the real world. And when the school system does not offer these opportunities, guess what? It's up to the parents. Children are sponges. They suck up everything they can and retain it. Think of all those little bad words you had to stop saying when your kids are born so they wouldn't repeat them, right? So put that information out there for them. Talk about checking your balance, about recording your expenses, what kind of bills you have to pay. Explain about coupons, about discounts, smart purchasing. A kid can learn so much from looking at a couple price tags and their favorite crackers. Show them. Let them deduce the best purchase. Kids are smart folks, and we owe it to them to set them up for a, for a future. Let them learn their reading and math and social skills, but take it upon yourselves to ensure the debt of the now of the us is not the future debt of your children. Thank you and have a great day.